I like the half like bro hug you gave me because sometimes when you're hugging like another dude like right off, he's like you give like a weird sort of yeah. like <laughs> straight. Well, if you start sometimes it's like the bro hug is kind of you start it with a handshake, right? You maintain the. The, the connection with the hand and then, and then do the, the, the bring in for the hug. So it's <laughs> good. None of the front of your body actually ever yeah. touches the front of yeah, your yeah. body. Yeah, yeah. It was good for me still, though. Okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Make You Miss Me, we're still playing like crazy right now. But, oh, thanks, man. But I love singing in summer as well. So you did a little video for it. For some, yeah. So what is your like ideal uh, summer date? What is that like? Is it um, outside? Yeah, in the summertime, I like to be, uh, well, I like to be outside year round, but. Um, you know, the romance is in the air in the summer, so you got you got to get out there where the air's at. Um, and uh, it, it's just it's kind of nostalgic too. You know, for me, this time of year it just reminds me of my youth. You know, I'm, I live in the south. I grew up in the south, and in Nashville, spring summers are very similar to Georgia. Yeah, spring and summer. Humid. So yeah, humid, hot. The lightning bugs start coming out. <laughs> um, or, well, I, I call them lightning bugs. What do you call lightning them? Bugs, Some people call yeah. them fireflies, but we always call them lightning I bugs. I always call them lightning bugs. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, South Carolina. Just, yeah. just the uh, being outside this time of year is just uh, it's hard to be in a bad mood. It just puts you in good spirit. So I, I try to if if I was going to be on on a date uh, this summer, I'd, I'd try to be outside. I think right now, uh, you are Sam Hunt after all. So when Sam hunts for the following, uh, tell me what you look for. Like a, a great movie to watch. What are you hunting for? <laughs> I'm uh I'm, I'm pretty lowbrow on my movie choices. I, um. <laughs> I, it's hard for me to really pay attention to appreciate like too deep of a of right. a storyline. So I just like the, the action movies. I need these action. things blowing up. All right, people going at it full speed. <laughs> you know that, that that whole thing. How about a song to record? What are you hunting for there? So a song to yeah, like do one to write albums, and record. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know. Just whatever makes me feel that thing that you feel when you whether you're writing a song or whether you turn on the radio and you hear a song that just moves you. Uh, so uh, whether it's up, upbeat and fast and, and positive or sad and depressing and slow, I, just, if it makes me feel that, yeah. that emotion, I, um, I'm for it. How about a quick bite to eat if you just got like hunger craving? Uh, right off the top of my head when you said that, I thought Chick-fil-A. There's a, you know, there's, I don't know, are there Chick-fil-A's in, around? Yeah, yeah. Started in Georgia, but anyway, um, right off the cuff, I could eat Chick-fil-A. At any point in time, hunger strikes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about a, an outfit to wear on stage? What do you look for? Nothing too fancy. I try not to come off as like as if I'm trying to be, you know, too cool. Um, so I, I just like something casual and comfortable. And uh, a lot of sometimes, you know, I, I have kind of a loud wardrobe. So sometimes uh, <laughs> the stylistically it can be a little different. But um, comfort is kind of what I go for. Yeah. I hadn't noticed the loud wardrobe. I maybe the pink suit, I guess, a little bit. Or yeah, <laughs> some floral patterns every once in a while pop out. Which, yeah, which I maybe loud is the wrong word. Maybe more uh, just uh, uh, just a little different. Are you house hunting right now? To buy a house? Yeah. Um I just recently uh, got a house about a year ago, um, and it was the first one I saw. <laughs> first one I saw. Um, a friend of mine happened to be looking for a house as well, and he sent me a couple uh, of the things that he came across. And the first one he sent me was. I loved and and what I loved about it was the, that it was secluded. It was uh, it's yeah. on a kind of outside of town a little bit. It woods around the house. It feels like I'm uh, uh, kind of way out there in the yeah. sticks. But I'm you know I have to be in town a good bit, so I'm close enough to where I can get back into town. So at this point in my life, those are the two things that are important. That I'm close enough to be able to kind of handle my business, but mm. far enough out to feel like I'm out of town a little bit. <laughs> Uh, you were uh, on the uh, stadium tours, uh, stadium tour shows with Kenny Chesney. Spread the love, of course. Um, so, how's that been going? Obviously, uh, phenomenal. Awesome. Yeah, uh, it's been hit going that great. big crowd every single night. Yeah. How Amazing. do you reach the people in the three hundred section? Is that hard? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to ask them <laughs> if I've been reaching them. I hope I have. Um, I try my best. Um, that is a long way up there, but yeah. um, you know that the, the energy just whether you're up in the top or whether you're down there right on the front row there's something about those stadiums that uh that just you know if if the energy just it travels throughout the whole the whole place and you can't get away from you can't get away from it if you tried so i sense the same enthusiasm from the top deck of folks that i do from the from the down uh front guys and girls um so i don't know if it's anything i'm doing or if they just love music that much and they're and they're just feeling it uh but 
whatever it is, it seems to be working. Yeah. I got to ask because the fans want to know about new music um, coming at some point, hopefully this year, maybe? Mm hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I definitely like to have some, some new songs out by, uh, by the end of the year. Maybe, you know, maybe a couple. I'd, I'm working on some things now, and I don't really want to wait until I have a full record done to put out any one specific song. So I'd like to start trickling some stuff out here pretty soon. I mean, you know, probably be several months, but. Um, but still, sooner, sooner than later is the best for me. We would like a trickle of the yeah, music I'm from Sam. So. You know, we, I started out putting out music a little at a time. You know, I, I put out my first record about a year and a half ago. But a year prior to that, I was putting out three or four songs at a time and sort of uh, just keeping, trying to keep uh, new, fresh music out there every yeah. few months. And I think that's important. I love your hat. I, mean, I always have to comment on your hats. Um, so what's this logo today? Uh, it's just a brand. It's called an Alumni. Okay. Um, a buddy of mine, he's... I had something on the other day. I said, "Where'd you get that?" And he said, "Told me the brand." And he ordered me some hats. So, is it happen all the time? Because I uh, people always ask, like, "Yeah, because I wear hats all the time." Like, yeah. hey, "Where'd you get that hat or whatever?" And so I always have. Do you have to like look at the brand every day because you know people are going to ask <laughs> well, later today? Someone's going to ask about this hat. I try to be aware of what I'm representing. You know, when I when I put it on my body. So <laughs> right. uh, I try to know that beforehand. Right uh, on. for that reason. Sam, good to see you always. Thanks for coming. Thank you, by, brother. Man. Appreciate it.